in the K2 this morning, and they're out of the blocks. And it does look like that German crew that has got out the fastest. Canada's uh, Savini, Fraser, Fornell and Vaughan are also really, really fantastically high stroke rate. What power there is amongst those girls there. But at the moment it is just Germany, just ahead of Canada. Sweden going well as well, out in lane 7. You see them in their yellow tops, being stroked by linear stencils. And Sweden have now just snuck the lead over Germany. And China looking very strong as well. Can they get a ch second Chinese crew into the final of the women's K4 500 meters? A very strong start from Sweden out in lane 7. Efter de første 250 meter, kan vi se her, at det er en svensk båd, vi har i føring lige nu. De kommer rigtig godt afsted, nu kan vi også se, at Kina begynder at presse på i år. Måske ikke så overrasket, Kina har været rigtig godt rundt denne weekend med de andre World Cups. Det er Kina og Sverige siden om siden, lige lidt godt med, at det også over på Tyskland. Og Canada har fire plads lige nu. Men i hvert fald her rigtig, rigtig stærk rundt i svenskerne. Vi kan se dem her nede på storskærmen nu. So as they just go through, there about 150 meters left to go. It looks like China still with just a nose ahead of Sweden. Sweden's crew looking at an absolute perfect synchronicity over the Germans that are out in lane four. They're going to start putting pressure on the swimming part, start coming back on the Swedish crew. Looks like Canada have just dropped back, but it is still China now. China ahead of Sweden. A strong performance by these Swedes. Og det er kineserne, der kommer rigtig, rigtig hurtigt her de sidste 200 meter. Det er den i føring. Så må vi se her, det ser ud til, at det bliver Tyskland på anden plads, og så svenskerne på en tredje plads. Dermed er svenskerne direkte i A-finalen. Så det lyder som om 